Welcome back. This is TOT Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is Abiye David Jumbo. He's a Nigerian singer and songwriter who was born, raised, and started his music career in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. He recently left his record label where he was signed for eight years to his own record label with singles like Pray For Me, God Bless Anybody, Banging, Bad Girl Special, Belema, In The Morning, to mention a few, and with a recent EP, Concentrate, which I think I've been jamming to. Let's make welcome Mr. 2K. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Wow. Concentrate. That's a bad song. That song is mad. Okay. That's, I like the fact that it's the name of the EP. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually like the lead um, song so, on that um, yeah. EP, right? Yeah. So what's, what's, what was the motivation behind Concentrate? What are we concentrating uh, on in 2020? Uh, whatever you want to consider, basically. For me, it was just... Me just singing, uh, it's just a love song. You can decide to concentrate on a girl, it's pretty, you can decide to concentrate on anything, but the, it's just in between. Is that you want to ignore the girl and concentrate on something else? Mm. Or you concentrate on her? Or is it that you cannot concentrate <laughs> whenever you see her? So it's just, mm. you know. So what are you concentrating on this 2020? Everything. 2020, um, mm. more my career, my brand, and then dropping an album this year. Mm. And shows, stores, and the rest of that, making more money, mm -hmm. and then helping whosoever I can lay my hands on. Ha, oh. I'm here, in case you want to help. <laughs> <laughs> we rise by lifting Nini, others, you know. remember. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, I noticed that you left your former record label, mm -hmm. and now you're with your own mm -hmm. record label. Mm -hmm. Can you just, I, I feel like when you switch, mm -hmm. when you do stuff like that, I feel like it takes a lot sure. on you. So can you just uh, um, explain to us what the I'll explain to you, like? the, the, the whole thing is like, it's like you're starting all over, but you're not starting afresh, you're starting with experience. Mm -hmm. So that's just the whole thing. Basically, yes, those people have left you, but while you're with them, you've made contact, you've known people mm -hmm. in the industry and you're quiet. So it's just for you to pick up from where they stop and then you continue. It's either you fail or you don't. It's either. So not, nothing good comes easily. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some bumpy, but definitely if you keep going, you might get to the place that is smoked. You know, eight know. years is a long time. That's a long time. And I, I don't think, I don't think we have, I don't think we have uh, many see, artists <laughs> in Nigeria that stayed with their record label for mm -hmm. eight, years. eight years. Some people That's come what I'm out asking, that did today you and they want to have their own record label and the, I'm wondering yeah. what's The whole thing is that it was even, what they want is even more than eight years. Oh, wow. Okay. So the whole problem is like, oh, because it's like after every, it's a roll up contract. After okay. every three years, you renew. sign. Yeah. You renew the contract. So basically, I've, I've renewed for like eight years. Oh. Right? So, and I said, oh, I don't want to renew anymore if we're not adjusting the contract. Okay. What did you want to adjust it? I think like it has to be partnership right now. It has yeah. to be made oh. proper 50-50, not just when you take out what is invested and then you now tell me it's 50-50. At the end mm. of the day, it's not even 50-50. It's below, it's, it might be like 80-20. No disrespect to anybody. We now have what is called street music with the likes of Naira Mali, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Zlatani Bile, and mm -hmm. the likes, you mm -hmm. know, doing what mm -hmm. I would I would say that, okay, it doesn't necessarily have to have a message. It's just mm -hmm. the vibe and the street sound mm -hmm. and people vibe to that. There's a message. But it's just the message that is not in your moral <laughs> Exactly. There's a well. message. Let's just carry on. There is a message. Well, um, one of your songs that really made me drift towards you wow. was we don't like the that scene, oh, make good. us see. Because good. there was a lot of message in that song. There was mm -hmm. a lot of soul. There was a lot of heart in that song. Yes. But um, it's like I also drifting towards the, let's just party, you know, party after party. party. Yeah? Is that what we're doing now? Or uh, you still do the message thing? What I'm trying to do now is, um, you know, um, the kind of songs I used to do was more for people that have got experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the generation you're talking about in Aramali is for those kids that want to make mistakes and then mm -hmm. learn from their own mistakes and don't tell them about, oh, don't do this and do that. They don't want to hear, they don't like to hear the parable, the proverb, uh, just tell them. But they just want to make, they're just young and white, maybe young, dumb, mm -hmm. and broke, mm -hmm. like the song mm -hmm. you understand, but they don't care, but they just want to be in that others. But I don't want to talk about it, but you know, it's more like the music, this, this is more like a drug and all that going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. So that's, that's just it right now. But I, I'm not saying I'm encouraging drugs and all that, but mm. you know, I just want to do music for 
for the ladies right now. Mm. For the ladies. Mm. You get for the ladies and for the strategy. From, from the age, let's talk about from the age of let's say fifteen or let's say fourteen, fifteen to twenty something, you understand. Then the rest can just catch up because this other generation controls this other this other age controls the mm. age from twenty five and thirty. They wanna know what these other people are vibing to. That's just mm. for me. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so still going back to the whole contract with your former record label, mm -hmm. because there has been an increase in a lot of Nigerian artists who are establishing independent record, um, record labels. Mm -hmm. Would you say there's a pattern in the industry, and is there any regulation you know, in the industry to prevent record labels from exploiting their artists? Uh, I don't know because if it, it's just business generally, if you ask me, but it might not be, it might not be good, or it might, not, or it might be good to both parties. So it's two ways. Like if I invest in you, I want to make what I have invested in you. Mm -hmm. You understand? But it might take a long time, or it might be quick. So when it's not quick, when it's too long, then one 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 party suffers and the other one benefits. Mm -hmm. So that's the way. For, that's it for me. So I felt like. Um, it's good when, if the boat, if it's very fast, then the both parties will just benefit really quick because yes. I'll just pay you up whatever you've invested. Because mm -hmm. as a businessman, so I want to sign some other people. If I put, yeah. if I put ten million there on you, I want to make back my ten million and also yeah. make profit mm. of that. You get so yeah. basically, but I can do it the right way. I say, okay, I'm not going to take everything. I just be taking bit by bit. I share. Maybe I just give you. If we make five million, I give you two and I go with three. But you're still owing me. You yeah. understand? So that, that's a good method if you have okay. Let's talk about the news about you. So if I Google, I mean, this is what I did today. I Googled Mr. 2K. And it's going to be one controversy to the other. I see mm. that you're saying Tasha or you're saying Gifty. Mm, that's my girl. That's my girl. That's Tasha. That's my girl. That's, that's your girl. So, um, <laughs> since you're, babe, that's you, my girl. It seems you know the whole um, controversial people that come mm -hmm. out of the world that I just So yeah. Gifty mm. and now Tasha. What Gifty is, is your. your do you, do you find them on the show or you know them before they go into the house or what what is your relationship with these women? Okay, first um, I'll just I don't want to talk about Gifty. But I knew her before the show. Okay. Do mm, you understand? Okay. So and Tasha, I knew Tasha before the show. Mm. Interesting. Okay, I also I was one of those who encouraged her to go for the, mm. for the show. Mm. You know, so basically but that's it. Speaking <laughs> of controversies, um, okay, so now this is my question because you've said this on um, so many interviews, but it's just an update. Okay. Um, is the Bonner Boy case still ongoing or you guys have quenched that? Of course, the case, um, we, uh, we resolved it like, like families and brothers uh, would do. So basically, I uh, withdrew the case from court. Mm -hmm. That was last year. We did that last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Very quiet. What about um, Echo Hotel? Because you, you were seeking 500 million in damages. So. Uh, Echo Hotel. Still ongoing? No, no. Echo Hotel has settled out of court. Okay. So you got some money? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay. Have you said that anywhere else? Uh, Exclusive. So Mr. Yeah, 2K think, well, got money. The reason. That's, that's like the beginning of the issue between me and my previous record label. Okay. Mm. Oh, that was the beginning of the issue? Yes. Please. Why? They were mad that you got money from a quota? No. They, they wanted, they, they even took the money. Wow. Okay. Oh. And they, gave, they took, they took, they took more than what I'm supposed to get and they gave me less. Wow. And are you chop the beating? <laughs> okay, I've always wanted to ask you this question though. I mean, you left NLNG for music. I mean, that's that's basically yeah. the dream job for some people. Yeah. Like, want to be around oil and gas uh -huh. and all yeah, that. Uh, why uh, why do you think it's the best decision right now looking but back? Still, but, but LNG still pays me. They still pay me a lot. Like, when I mean they pay me, I go there for gigs and they mm. pay me more than what they used mm. to pay me. Oh, okay. true, true. Like, so like, you're just, still working like, with them like, indirectly? Like, yeah, like this, like we just got back from 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 LNG not too long from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically working there before was me waiting for month and mm. get yes, mm -hmm. I was among those who did She there. does so she does. Oh. <laughs> 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 who actually beat the train mm -hmm. the train says the gas train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, but after that I felt like yo I just have passion for music. Music. You know, so I just have to use the money and invest in the music and mm -hmm. all that. And it's paying off. Yeah, it's yeah. paying off. Because okay, you have to sing for us. some millions yeah. that, would, that would never pay me. Because our time is up. Okay. All right, okay. so no artist gets on the stable without give, um, singing so, or okay. freestyling. 30 seconds. So, yeah, 30 mm -hmm. seconds 30 to do seconds. that. Mm -hmm. All right. 
myself now. <laughs> Baby, come be Mariana. Gelly, don't tell I don't wait you tire. Uh, your body reminds me of fire. Nobody fit test to your standard. Get I'll only die for your matter. Uh, concentrate, concentrate to. Jam, Baby, jam. me, I love you to just concentrate, concentrate to. No, now you be the sweet chocolate. <laughs> Wow, so that's, that's a jam. A... So <laughs> just listen to concentrate if you haven't listened to that song. Yeah, yeah. And it's listen EP, to the EP. Actually, so the EP yeah. too is yeah. madness. Mm. Mm. It's two kids back with the bank, 2020. Okay. What up? I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Aosu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to Michael Ankos, Ife Oluwa Shukeye, and Nimi Adekombi, and the entire production team. And of course, our guest, Mr. Tuki. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. My name is Elsie Godwin. See you later. <laughs>